It's time to get outside and play, so I have a whole bunch of outdoor play ideas for you in this video. Plus, I have a giveaway that's sponsored by Hog Wild. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. I wanted to get outdoors and show you some activities that you can do with your kids outside. I actually have quite a few of these videos, so I'm gonna put them in a playlist, probably up here in the corner somewhere, so you can go and click and see some other ideas and inspiration, so you can get a lot of ideas for outdoor play. If you're new to the Purple Alphabet, welcome, welcome. Make sure to say hi down below in the comments and to click that subscribe button too. I'd love to have you join the Purple Alphabet family. We do educational activities and ideas and inspirations to learn through play plus some giveaways in hauls and shop with me's too. And speaking of giveaways, I owe you a giveaway winner. In one of my most recent videos, we had a giveaway for the Think Fun game. This game is called Chicken War. So if you see your name here, congratulations, you have won. You have 72 hours to respond to claim your prize. But if you didn't win, don't worry, we have a giveaway in this video sponsored by Hogwild. But more on that at the end of this video. So let's get on to some activities to do outdoors with your kids. The first activity I have for you is for sight words, or if you have a younger child, you could do letters. In our case, we're doing spelling words, and this is a sight word kick. I have all of our words that we're using on note cards, and I got some of those cones from the Dollar Tree. They come two to a pack. I just showed you some in my last Dollar Tree Shop With Me video. They are amazing. You will use them for everything, I promise. When you're playing outside, they are definitely a must. So I have a couple of those and I'm gonna tape my spelling words onto each cone or your sight words or your ABCs or your number recognition, whatever you wanna do. If you want this to really, really last, I recommend using a heavy cardstock and laminating them and then taping them on there real good with probably some masking tape or painter's tape so they don't come off very easily. It just kinda of depends on how destructive your child is going to be when they kick the ball to each one of these cones. So I'm just doing a couple here and you can do however many you want and I'm gonna spread them around around our lawn. You can put them far apart, you can put them close together, however you wish. And you can do this game in a various number of ways. I have a soccer ball and I'm gonna have my kids kick the soccer ball because they can do that. But if your child cannot kick a soccer ball that well into the direction they want it to go, you can have them roll it, you can have them tag it, you can have them knock over the cone. Whatever you want is just getting that practice and learning. So you can have them call out a word and hit it, or you can have them hit it and call out that word. This is a great repetitive task that includes some great physical activity to get them moving and learning at the same time. Next up we have a birdie golf, which is sent to me by Hogwild. I saw this over at Toy Fair and I thought it was a great outdoor game. Couldn't wait to give it a try and get my hands on it. So what you get inside are two golf clubs. So you can play with two players. They each get a golf club. You also get this great little bag that can snap around your waist and you can carry it around with you if you want. It's great for storage. And inside the zipper bag, you have your four birdies in four different colors. And then you also have your goal here that kind of wobbles and stays up when you put it onto the grass. This is really cool. I'm excited to try. Now what's really cool about these little birdies and these golfs is that when you turn them over, they're already set to be hit by the golf club, which is a fabulous thing. So you don't have to worry about your balls rolling all over the place. And the golf clubs themselves have a really nice large area. So you're probably gonna always hit it every time. So all you need to do is just set this up on the ground with the ball part on top and set up your goal. And what you wanna try to do is hit it so it knocks it over. You can also put scoring points on each one of these. Maybe the pink one is worth three points, the blue one's worth two points, or as many times as you hit it, so you have a little bit of number counting in there. But this is great gross motor activity, plus it gets them outside and having fun. Just working on their aim to hit that birdie to hit their goal is quite a task. I like to set them all up in a row so they're all ready to go. I had a fun time hitting them through my yard myself, as did my kids after I was done filming this video. And I really did like that they didn't roll away every time that I hit them, which was perfect. Birdie Golf is for ages four and up, and it's available at Amazon, Dick's Sporting Goods Store, and you can try and win it in our giveaway. If hitting with the golf club is just a little bit too hard for your little one, you can also just toss it and throw it, or you can do a level game where one round you toss it and the second round you hit it with the club. This is a really nice compact activity that's not gonna take up much space for storage, which is another reason why I liked it. 
Moving on to an oldie but goodie. Oldie because I've already showed you guys this one, but I thought it was really good. I had to put it in this video. It, it's a fine motor scavenger bug hunt. So I have a whole bunch of insects and creepy crawly things here, and we are hunting for bugs and insects, but not only that, they're not gonna get harmed <laughs> because they're plastic. I thought this was a fabulous way to do a scavenger hunt in your own backyard. I'm gonna throw in my fine motor component with some tweezers here. I'm gonna put a link to these down below in the description box. And then I have my bug catcher. This one came from the Dollar Tree and I just saw them over there too. And they also come with tweezers inside. So if you need one of these, you can use this. In my other video, I used a muffin tin to gather all of our specimens. Whatever you have, a box, it can work too. Go ahead and hide all of your figurines throughout your yard. If you wanna make it easy, just make it real obvious and put them in the grass. You can make it even harder for your older kids by placing them in hidden spots. You can put them close together or farther away and then have your kids go and find them. Once they find them, they'll use their tweezers or their fine motor tool to put it inside their specimen jar and they collect that way. What's great about this activity is if you're working on a life cycle or you're working on a particular study, maybe you're looking at butterflies, you can use all butterflies and relate it right back to what you're learning in your homeschool. I think there's a lot of variety on this and it's fun and it's a really safe way to collect bugs and be able to examine all of the figurines and then talk about them after words. All right, this one looked really, really cool. This one is for ages eight and up and it is called Pop and Pass. It's also from Hogwild. They sent it to me after Toy Fair and I couldn't wait to show you. It's one of the options in the giveaway. Awesome. So what you get are two Pop and Pass launchers and then three balls. Now all you have to do is place the ball inside the launcher and then pull the handle down where a suction is formed so when you pop it back up, it's going to just fly and you can catch it with your own pop and pass launcher or you can play with another person and catch theirs. Here I am giving you a quick demo of how it goes up. Oh, of course we have to do that in slow-mo because I actually caught that one. I was really proud of myself on <laughs> catching it on the first try. But it's a lot of fun and it's really cool that you can play it alone or with somebody else and it makes a really cool popping sound. Let me show you. My girls were totally giggling at that sound. They just thought it was amazing. I think this is a really cool experiment to do, especially because my girls are working on measurement in their math units right now. So we are doing a measurement hunt and I have found several objects in our yard. You can also have your kids find the objects and I have a list on here. One side on our graph here, we have an item and on the other side we have the measurement. So my second grader is filling it in with the very first item we found, which is a rock. You're also gonna need some kind of measuring instrument. We are working on centimeters right now, but you can do inches or you can just do lengths of string or paper clips if you want, and you put the measurement on the other side. It's a nice way to get out into nature to also emphasize some skills that you might be learning in your homeschooling right now as we are, and to get some good writing practice and recording. So I really like this one because it's a nice way to get outside and to learn at the same time. We also found a blade of grass that was really long and we did a piece of bark, but you could do other things like playground items, swings, cars even. You could do things that you find around a park or even things that you find in your own garden. For instance, how tall is a flower or how tall is a tree? Maybe you have a yardstick and you can get some really nice measurements depending on the skill level of your child. We kept it simple here with just a few objects, but you can definitely build on it depending on where your child is at. And now for the giveaway details. First of all, make sure you have subscribed to the Purple Alphabet and then leave me a comment down below telling me which Hogwild product was your favorite. That way I know what to send you if you win. The first one was Birdie Golf and the second option is Pop and Pass. Then head over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. And of course, look for a secret code that I hid somewhere on social media. Sometimes they're tricky, so be on the lookout. You guys, make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love. <laughs>